Good evening and welcome. I'm Reverend Mary Catherine Morn, President of the Unitarian Universalist Service Committee. I am very happy to welcome you to our virtual human rights leadership celebration. We are so glad you've joined us for this hour when we will be hearing from our Human Rights Leadership Awardee, Ms. Isabel Wilkerson, winner of the Pulitzer Prize, the National Humanities Medal, and wonderful author of New York Times bestsellers. We will also be enjoying some music together and learning about congregational engagement through UUSC's Congregational Accompaniment Project for Asylum Seekers, or COPAS. Please join us in the chat in community. We'd love to hear from you during the show. We're celebrating tonight, anticipating tomorrow's 73rd anniversary of the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by the United Nations General Assembly. In this 73rd year since its adoption, thanks to your support and the work of our grassroots partners, UUSC is addressing forced displacement from violence, economic oppression, and climate change addressing the criminalization of people based on their identity or citizenship status, and the inequitable and unjust impacts of natural and human-created disasters. These forces of oppression intersect and cause layers upon layers of injustice. In partnership with grassroots organizations, UUSC provides emergency relief in times of disaster, supports the rights of migrants, with particular focus on conditions creating the migration crisis in Central America, works with indigenous communities fighting for their self-determination in the face of the, dest the destruction of their lands, and demanding a voice in decisions affecting their lives. Through our College of Social Justice and other collaborations, we partner with other Unitarian Universalists and the UUA to build political power to affect change and build the beloved community. As we observe the anniversary of this world-changing declaration, we hold both the power of movements that have created tangible, life-saving change and the reality of the impact of ongoing inequity and injustice, which reminds us how very important it is that we remain committed to this work going forward into the next years and decades. Though UUSC is small in the world of international human rights, our impact is significant because we put our trust and our resources in partners who are boldly leading us all toward collective liberation. Our partners are small, problem-solving, innovative, innovative, cooperative organizations, most often led by people from the communities they are serving. We serve and live out our commitments in the spirit of Eleanor Roosevelt's admonition. She said, where, after all, do universal human rights begin? In small places close to home, so close and so small that they cannot be seen on any maps of the world. Unless these rights have meaning there, they have little meaning anywhere. Without concerted citizen action to uphold them close to home, we shall look in vain for progress in the larger world. For more than 80 years, UUSC has been representing Unitarian Universalists and progressive faith values through our work for human rights. In that time, we have learned much, and our commitment to self-reflection and ongoing learning have never been stronger. We know that we cannot change the world unless we change ourselves. And while we know we will still regularly fall short, we also believe that growing in understanding and integrity is possible. We're grateful for the deep faith and trust from our membership. Just as trust of our partners is essential for our work, it's important to us that supporters have confidence in our work and know that UUSC is a good investment for their support. We also know 
that our supporters expect us to take risks and stretch ourselves for the sake of our mission. And so to our members and supporters, I want to say thank you. I hope tonight's celebration helps you understand the impact of your commitment and inspires you to spread the word and invite others to become part of the change and collective liberation we are building together. Now I am very pleased to welcome our friends from Neighborhood Unitarian Church in Pasadena, California, including UUSC board member and vice chair Lynn Miyamoto. Following the chalice lighting, we will hear some music from D Dizzy Sense and Aviance Hoyles.